Hi and welcome to a new video here from CES 2020. I actually just came from a video shooting with Steve from Gamers Nexus where we were kind of ranting about CES 2020 that nothing really interesting is happi happening and all the suites are kind of boring. But then I ended up at Gigabyte afterwards and I spotted this eGPU box which turned out to be a quite interesting product and so far the most interesting product I've seen um, at least for the Gigabyte booth because most of the other products were already released like X299X Waterforce and X299 uh, Designaire motherboards. But this eGPU box is kind of interesting because it comes fully water-cooled. We have a 2080 Super in here and when I just saw this box for the first time, I already or immediately noticed that this thing is different from a normal retail 2080 Super. Just judging by the fact that you can see two times eight pin PCI Express power connectors exiting the card on the back in, in this area, which is really cool. Something I would personally also like to see on retail cards because it makes uh, the build look more beautiful than if you have the power connectors here. And those are reserved spots for power connectors as well. So two times eight pin could actually be placed here. We have solder pads on here, but no power connectors. So first step is remove the card. We will unscrew the screws in front and take a look at the water cooling solution. After removing the screws in front on the IO shield of the VGA, I can remove this shielding. We get access to the VGA itself. We can see the connection of the card. So we have a USB type C, several display port, HDMI which means that we can now finally take out the card. In the back area there is still a fan connector I have to remove. This PCB here on the side contains all the controllers for network, for USB Type-C, also for the USB slots on the top right here. So those ICs right here are all the controllers on this PCB. On the side we have the 240 4 d radiator and this goes down to the pump and also the water cooling block which we will now remove. This is how the Gigabyte 2080 Ti eGPU version looks like. As I said before, we have two additional empty spots for 8-pin connectors that are kind of reserved but not used. What's also interesting is that they cut down the cost for sure on this PCB because it's a very specific use case. This one is obviously not meant for overclocking or any kind of additional use outside of the box. Therefore, they left out those two faces, for example, and they also left out those three faces on the front, cutting down some cost for sure. The name of this card or PCB in this case is a CAN or CAN ICES-3 which is also something that you cannot find on any retail 2080 Ti. The water block is also very interesting. At a first look it seems to be like a vapor chamber cooler but it's not. This copper plate right here is the water block and then we have two additional aluminium pieces to the left and to the right. Those make contact over thermal pads to for example the capacitors to the MOSFETs to the inductors, same thing on the right here. And those two aluminium parts are connected to the copper core over those two very massive heat pipes. They look like six or eight millimeter diameter heat pipes connected from the left to the right over the water block in the center. On this table we can see the ROS 2080 Ti gaming box in production. On the left we see the sample that we just disassembled and uh, took a closer look at. Now here is one sample connected to this ROS Aero notebook. And if we just play back this 4K footage, or actually it's 6K footage, then you can see it's very smooth playback. There is no stuttering in between, which is something that is really a problem if you're somewhere traveling and just cutting footage over a normal notebook. That's the very big advantage with those eGPU boxes. Next to me we have a system which contains an adapter or an SSD that contains four M.2 drives in total. It's one of those PCI Express SSD adapter things. Uh, we already saw that at Computex, but back then it was not a live demo. Now we have a live demo. We can rerun this quickly. We have 19.2 gigabyte per second or 19,200 megabyte per second we just did in read. Uh, write was quite similar. We have a RAID 0 array of 7 terabyte in here. Now it's 19,344 19, megabyte per second, so quite quick. And uh, this adapter or this PCI Express adapter for, for M.2 slots 
for four M.2 drives will be included in some X299 boards in future. You might have to check which model it is exactly because that's something I cannot tell you right now. But this thing will be included in some X299 boards in future in the newer models. Gigabyte also showed the final version of their new AIO here at CES. We already also saw the mock-up or the first prototype of those things during Computex last year. Now we can see the final production quality of the 360 version right here. The base is an Acetec design and the block comes with an LCD display where you can display for example CPU temperature but you could also display your own logo if you want to. We're ending this video here at a Gigabyte booth with some very interesting system builds. We have some case mods, can, case cons right uh, next to me and this system is something really, really special. I've seen this one I think uh, two or three weeks ago already on Instagram and I asked myself the question how the hell did they make those tubes because I first thought they kind of pushed some rings over this tube but then yeah touching this and also the creator of the system was just here to explain it it's glass those are glass tubes and I don't even want to know how many days and hours he spent on making those tubes he said especially the main tube right here that one with the very two tight bends on the top here and with those rings right here it took him about 25 tries to complete this tube because not only you have to make those bends on top here and those rings here you also have to make the perfect cut at the perfect length in the end without cracking the tube which is something I have to learn myself right now for project irrationality so I can really feel his pain. So much for the Gigabyte suite or the Gigabyte CES 2020. Uh, we will end this video with some nice shots of the system builds right here so thanks for tuning in and see you soon. Uh.